Well, round seven of the Women's National Basketball League saw the matchup between the Adelaide Lightning and the Townsville Fire. Well, was that the Townsville Lightning, the Adelaide Fire? I'm not sure, Rach, because there are so much interchange of players between these two sides, it's easy to get confused. But what we couldn't get confused about was the big story of the week, and that was that the Adelaide Lightning sacked their coach, Peter Buckle, notwithstanding a 70% winning record, and the man in the hot seat was Richard Dickel for his first match on TV. Well, and didn't he cope well? Exactly right. He seemed so calm. He uh, had a really good game plan in place. He relied on his players to share their knowledge of, of what they've been doing all season, and that seemed to work It really well he wants to give the players a lot more freedom he's loving how they're running their defensive pressure was very good it was their leaders who stood up early as well particularly the offensive end they shot the ball at, uh, t at better than 50 percent in the opening quarter and we just seen on we've just seen on these highlights packages laura hodges and jess foley were involved so too jenny screen and townsville at the other end were pretty stagnant steph coming here with that basket was really the only one to get in any offensive flow in the first half that's right we know susie back got her points but she'll admit herself that um, she's not shooting great her uh, shooting percentage is down and she's contributing in other ways and of course she's um always out there and she's a threat but you're right they just didn't have many other players stand up whereas Lightning had that spread of scoring. They did and at the halftime break the margin was six points it was Adelaide who were in front and they just seemed to be able to keep Townsville at arm's length. Townsville never got closer than four points at any stage through the first three quarters until very, very late in the fourth quarter, they bridged the gap right back to level. It was like it was scripted, wasn't it, Boydy, to give us that really exciting finish, you know, in all the um, uproar that had happened through the week. So it was a, a great finish in the end, and I guess a, a result that Lightning will be so pleased with, with their new coach and a new chapter for them. Nadine Payne was particularly good for the Adelaide Lightning. She had a dozen points and provided them with much needed energy at times. Jenny Green was rock solid. Jenny Screen, rather, was rock solid. And in the end, Jess Foley it was who stood up with some perimeter baskets down the stretch. She scored the last seven points of the game for Adelaide from the field. Steph Talbot had a clutch free throw with less than seven seconds remaining. Townsville couldn't score. And in the end, Adelaide were the victors. 69 points to 68 in an absolute thriller in our ABC TV Game of the Week in Round 7.